Hey everybody, I am officially on my way to Baltimore Comic Con day one and I'm super excited because I get to spend the weekend uh, doing what I love, going to collect comics, cosplay, and all the good things, and most importantly, spending the weekend with my friends, my best friends, so I couldn't be more excited. I've been looking forward to this for weeks, or months, I should say. So, let's go! Baltimore Comic Con, let's go! So day one of Comic-Con is complete. I'm getting ready to head over to my best friend's uh, house, uh, DZ. So I get to spend the rest of the weekend with them and I can't wait, so yay. So before I get into the things that I got at the Comic-Con this year, I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about my uh, experience throughout the weekend and at the con and with some of my best friends and whatnot. So 
First, I want to give some shout outs to people that I uh, ran into over the weekend. Um, I got to hang out and, and or meet people that I've known for a while um, at the con, which was a lot of fun, as always. I always, seeing, I always love seeing uh, people that I've known on online for years. I love meeting them in person at cons. It's just really cool. It's just mind-blowing to me. Um, so first off, I want to give a shout out to my girl Mars, that comic girl. If you're not following on her on Instagram, go do it. She is awesome. Second, I want to give a shout out to uh, comic man Andy. Uh, I saw him at the con uh, both days that I was there briefly. Uh, we didn't really get to hang out as much as I wanted but I got a couple pictures with him, so that was cool. Uh, Andy, was great seeing you again. Uh, hopefully we get to see each other uh, next year too. And another shout out I wanna give out is uh, to Natalie, uh, comic queen. And I've been following her on Instagram for quite a few years. And she's really awesome, super down to earth and friendly. So if you're not following her on Instagram, go do that. <laughs> uh, so Natalie, it was it was really great to meet you in person finally. <laughs> so and another uh, couple shout outs I want to give is uh, to my cosplayer friends, my community, uh, Scotty or Scotty V Cosplay. It's always great seeing you. Um, my friend uh, Brent Holt, who's like kind of like my cosplay mentor in a way because we we met quite a few years ago at Baltimore Comic Con and it was one of the first few years that I started cosplaying so in a way he's like my cosplay inspiration um, he's not on Instagram but he is on Facebook and he's pretty well known in the community um, he has a lot of great cosplays as well so uh, yeah he's always Fred, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but uh, thank you so much for uh, being so awesome and being such a great friend and uh, mentor, inspiration to me <laughs> and to a lot of people. Another quick shout out I want to give is to my good friend uh, Hazel, or otherwise known as That Shady Haze. Uh, Hazel, it was really awesome seeing you again at uh, Baltimore. Um, Hope to be able to hang out more and see you at another cosplay shoot soon. So if you're not following her on uh, Instagram and YouTube, uh, go do that because she has some awesome cosplays. I also uh, got to see uh, another Tomb Raider cosplayer and that was a really cool moment for me because normally the co there aren't any other cosplayers that are wearing the same cosplay as me. So when I saw the Tomb Raider uh, cosplayer, uh, I had to get a picture with her. I didn't, I didn't get her uh, name or anything, but she looked amazing. She was dressed as the original Tomb Raider, and I was the uh, reboot uh, version of Tomb Raider, so it, it was a really cool moment. There, there was just so much to see at this con this year, and it was kind of overwhelming at times, but I had a blast. So. Uh, another thing that I got to do, um, like last year, were a couple uh, cosplay photo shoots, which I had a blast uh, doing. Also, I got to debut two new cosplays, and if you follow my cosplay Instagram, you would know what both of those are. But in case you don't, I cosplayed a comic character from a new series that came out this year by Gail Simone. It's called The, Re the Variants. And it's basically a variant of Jessica Jones, but it's when she becomes Captain America. So I decided to call up Captain Jessica, <laughs> which works because I love both Jessica Jones and Captain America. And so the idea of putting those two characters together into one is, it was awesome. So if you haven't checked out uh, The Variants by Gail Simone, go do it. It's a really fun, awesome series. 
the other cosplay I got to do was one I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that is Lara Croft, also known as Tomb Raider. I really love that character. Uh, she is definitely one of my favorite video game characters of all time. Uh, I didn't grow up playing the original Tomb Raider games, but I did play the mo more modern Tomb Raider games that came out uh, in the 2000s. So I pretty much instantly fell in love with Lara Croft when I played through those games, and I decided to make uh, a cosplay of uh, Lara Croft. And I mean, it's not exactly like the video games, but it's it's my take on that character, and I, it's probably become like one of my favorite cosplays to do now because I I just it was really awesome, like uh, wearing that cosplay. It, I don't know how to else to describe it. It just was amazing, and getting to shoot uh, both of those cosplays at the con. Uh, Gotta give a huge, huge shout out to my friend and uh, fellow cosplayer and photographer. Uh, he takes amazing pictures, and I really love like all the pictures that he uh, took of both of those cosplays for me at the con. So huge shout out to Eric, also known as uh, Eric W. Photography on. Instagram and also Facebook. So he's really great to work with and if you ever see this Eric, thank you so 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 much for all those pictures that you took. I had a lot of fun uh, shooting those cosplays with you and I hope to do more in the future because it was a lot of fun. Another thing that I did this year which I haven't really done anything like this before I was kind of nervous about it at first, but also at the same time really excited. I ended up doing or participating in the cosplay showcase, uh, and it was actually the first time they did something like this. I know they normally do the cosplay contest for both kids and, and adults, but this time they wanted something that other cosplayers who didn't want to compete, they were able to show off. Uh, or share their cosplays with everyone else without being judged on it, which I thought is really awesome because it gives pe cosplayers the opportunity to share their creation with everyone without like being judged or anything on it. And it was it was amazing. Like the turnout was awesome, and ev everyone who participated in the cosplay showcase was. They, they were some really awesome cosplays. Like I, I gotta tell you, it was it was really cool, and getting to be a part of that, uh, it was it was really cool. fun overall like both days not just uh, during that but and also one big huge shout out to all of my lovely friends that I got to uh, spend time with over the weekend so uh, I got to reunite with my uh, nerdy girl crew uh, Daisy and Gigi we uh, are we formed the nerdy girls uh, and I got to spend a lot of time with them over the weekend, and it was great, as always. Uh, I, I, Daisy, Gigi, I, I love you girls to death, and you have really made my life so much better, and I, I love you guys. Um, it, it was great going to the con again with you and just hanging out. And also, we did another music stream, so that was a lot of fun too. Just overall, this entire weekend was... it was awesome. And it's something I will always look forward to, getting to spend some time with my best friends that I've ever had, 
and yeah. Also uh, Sleepy and also D-Rock and his amazing wife. Uh, it was also really fun getting to hang out with you over the weekend as well. This year I didn't get a whole lot, but I'm pretty excited about what I did get. So without further ado, um, I only got like a few comics. I didn't get a whole lot, like I said. So had to get some amazing Spider-Man. Got one with uh, Spidey and Namor. So this one and another classic Spidey and Black Cat cover. It's really nice. So this is issues 211 and 227. Love Amazing Spider-Man. So I also got this uh, Dare or not Daredevil Ghost Rider number thirty-six. Really hope they bring him back soon because he's a great character. I also got some Daredevil. I really love this cover. So, this is Daredevil number fifty-one. And this is Daredevil 241. So glad that he is back in the MCU. I really loved seeing him in She-Hulk. Um, I can't I can't wait for his uh, own show to come back. I'm really excited for it. And I'm just really excited that uh, they brought Charlie Cox back as Daredevil as well because he's perfect and uh, I did get a poster which normally I don't really get posters at cons but uh, this one was too good to pass up and it's also um, one of my favorite characters so I saw this and I had to get it because I love Daredevil I love the Netflix show and I'm just Super glad that he's back in the MCU. So I definitely gotta hang this up somewhere. It's so cool. All right, so there are two more things that I got at the con and two of which I'm very excited about. One of them is a statue and it'll go perfect with collection of statues and collectibles behind me and this is actually one of my all-time favorite villains in the Marvel Universe and if you know me well enough you should know who it is so it is the probably the best Marvel villain and in, in my opinion but it is none other than Doctor Doom so super excited to open this up and so that's what I'm gonna do. Unbox it right now. So, and it looks like they taped it up. Um, I'm gonna probably need scissors here. one of 3,000 of these. Oh. Cool. Okay. Oh, they didn't tape it. Okay. So. Oh, <laughs> so cool. Yes. Oh, he is so cool. This is so cool. And 
actually I have a Doom uh, poster up there on top of uh, this cabinet behind me. So I'm gonna put this right in front of it. So it'll look cool. So yeah, I'm so excited for this guy to make his appearance in the MCU. I just pray to God that they make, they do it right this time. <laughs> But with everything that Marvel has done so far, uh, I I have faith. I have faith. So, I'll set him right there for now. So, the last thing that I got is another comic, and it is actually a graded one. And oh my gosh. Still can't believe I have this in my possession now, and it's been a holy grail of mine for uh, quite a while. And of course, it has to do with my all-time favorite characters, Fantastic Four. And it's actually a first appearance, and it is none other than Fantastic Four number forty-nine, first appearance of Galactus. And I can't believe this. <laughs> can't believe I have this now. I'm more than happy to have this in my possession now. So it's it's beautiful. And it's also one of the best Fantastic Four storylines in their entire history. So, so yeah, I am going to find a good place to put it. Yeah, this is, this is so exciting. It's <laughs> the first full appearance of Galactus and the second appearance of the Silver Surfer. And it's the first cover with both of them on it. So, so cool. But yeah, that is all the things that I got at uh, Baltimore Comic Con this year. I know it was kind of a, a light uh, year this time, which was fine. Um, yeah, so there were a lot of other things that uh, I have to show, but um, that's for another video. <laughs> so there I have it. That's uh, basically wraps up what my weekend was like uh, for uh, Baltimore Comic Con 2022. And as I've said before in previous videos, uh, Baltimore Comic Con will always have a special place in my heart. It's basically my home con of sorts. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's like, it's not like really big, but it's more like laid back and chill and it, they make it more about comics. There's a ton of comic vendors there like every year and it's awesome. So I, it's something I look forward to every year and I don't see myself not going anytime soon. So yeah, thank you so much for being here and for watching and for all your support. It truly means the world to me. Um, Till next time, stay fantastic y'all.